And welcome back to another review here at Total Toy Recon. Today, we are reviewing the Obi-Wan Kenobi 1 7 skit statue. Yes, this is from the Premier Collection. It is incredibly detailed as the box is telling us. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit, but we're looking here at the back. It's limited edition to 3,000 pieces. The box is fairly large, so we are going to have to, just take my word for it, we've got 13 and a half by a foot tall and definitely five inches deep. So it's going to be a bit massive. Now this is one of two pieces. The other is Vader. So hang around to the end of the review and we will do a comparison and put them side by side. So here we are, we're at the styrofoam box and I talk about this quite often. There is no Star Wars label. This is the premier collection. I have yet to figure out the rhyme and reason as to why sometimes it's imprinted with Star Wars, sometimes it's not. Here this one says Diamond Select Toys. Clearly, it's Gentle Giant written all over it, and you can also say it's Gentle Giant by the Letter of Authenticity, which is the baseball card. So we have number 211 of 3,000 right here. So I'm going to open them up. We're going to take a look and see how good Obi-Wan is. So now here's our base. Um, we have the 211 here on the bottom. Great, we have the confrontation with the flames, the whole bit. And what I like to point out is you can see where the feet are supposed to go. And then we have the uh, pins, the indicating uh, little pins that go down to set you and McGregor up as Obi-Wan. Now, the one thing that I really did like about this, um, this statue is that it, it, it would have made a great figure um, just by the picture. So now we're going to find out for sure. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Clearly a lot of love done for the character here. The robe is faded. We've got the, the you know, the boots. They're not the they're not the, the Jedi boots or they're what's left of them. We've got the bandages wrapped around the edges to keep the sand out. This looks beat up. It doesn't look like he just pulled one off the new Jedi uh, you know, um quartermaster table, like the last robe that he had, the shirt hands are really great look at the details here in the wrist you see the veins it really does look like ewan mcgregor and i'm trying to put as much light in there as i can so that you can see it but it really does look like mcgregor and the eyes are good we, we sometimes it's just paint applications that it doesn't work the eyes are off to the side we've got really good eyes here so let's put him on the base and i gotta say as as many of these gentle giant and diamond select releases as i've done the base is the base is the thing that has gotten me every time. It just gets better and better and better. It's like they're going to one-up it. And we've got several busts I'm going to review. And you can go in and look at a lot of my busts, the 3Ds, Legends and 3Ds. The busts are what I, I think I focus on more than anything. You know, um, it, They're just incredible and such character-building things. So I'm going to do a 360 turn here so you can kind of see them. As I said again, great detail. Lived in. Lived in. That's what Star Wars was wasn't a brand new science fiction film that everything looked like it just rolled off the assembly line. It looked lived in. That was George Lucas's big difference in a lot of his of, uh, in his science fiction film or fantasy. Lightsaber. Really nice detail. We're doing the Kenobi saber. Put that right in there. Not a um so one thing I'll comment here is usually sometimes this is this has been metal or this piece this piece has been part of the saber, and then it's been this plastic blade that you stick in. So, I got that there. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I have really no complaints. Fantastic. Great for the collection. This is, this is a nice centerpiece. If you have all the squares, or you've got them from Ikea or something, this one takes up its own space. Um, however... It is not just a lone piece. So before before we get to Vader and bring the comparison of the Vader and, and put them side by side and and see how they work as a set, I have to tell you that the um, that the the Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi statue is on on Gentle Giant and it does retail for two hundred dollars. With a price point like that, you're going to get free shipping, and free shipping is a big deal right now, um, especially with 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 how much shipping costs. So you definitely have $200. You're definitely going to get something out of it. I 
do recommend picking it up. But as we go, let's do Vader. Let's bring him into the mix and see how the two look together. All right, so here we have the apprentice and the master, and the former apprentice and the former master. So uh, clearly this is from their duel when eventually Vader does, spoilers, hurt Obi-Wan in a way we never thought that was ever going to happen, which is fantastic to see a fight like this, like a sequel to the, the, the fight at Mustafar. I mean, you know, did it ever think, no, nah, never going to happen? Because that we thought that fight was on the Death Star, but we actually got this whole other fight. Very grueling, very rough, very, like, destructive and evil and really showed Vader, like, off in, in a way that we didn't really ever see except for in Rogue One. So, and, and that was against non-Jedi. But here we are looking at these two pieces. So what we have to do is, as you can see, they are massive. And I'm sorry to see the lines on the side, but this lightsaber is just fantastic. This lightsaber is fantastic. Trying to capture everything. Um, you kind of wish that there was some like more lava flames that they could put between the two of them. Because I don't think that the pieces really fit together. Ooh. Okay. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pan down and they kind of fit together. But if Vader's arm is that is that long, so we're going to pan back up. If Vader's arm is that long, why doesn't he just choke Kenobi instead of using the force? So they're clearly not made to be this close together, even though you can kind of see right here. I'm going to pan back down again. They do kind of fit like a puzzle piece. So it is interesting, but you would never do this because you lose so much of their faces and the duel itself. So you really do have to separate them. But you can see the height difference in the two characters. And clearly we have two very different approaches. We have, you know, the, the confidence and the dark side. We have the man who's ready to defend himself. We have the attacker. We have the defender. You know, there's a lot here, a lot of character. And when you put the two pieces together, besides the, the $400 price point that you've got for such a beautiful set, you really do have to have them that way. Um, this is what a lot of Star Wars fans wanted out of the prequels. And we got it in Kenobi, and it took a while. But it's really a fantastic set, and you need it that way. So I'm going to break back into the solo review here. But to see the two side by side, it's, it's damn good. It's, they're really, really amazing. Okay, so there you have it. Vader and Obi-Wan side by side. Bringing us all back to Obi-Wan again. Um, points that I love. The flames reaching high. These are your t danger points. You know, gets knocked over or broken. Would you really notice it? Probably not. The saber is fantastic. But what really stands out is the face. The face is amazing really does capture mcgregor at this point in 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 obi-wan's life the aged jedi uh robe is great it looks like it's been sitting like out and and dusty which is supposed to look that way so even if this piece uh, this piece that you get sits out for itself you may have to you know run some brush a couple of spray just to knock the flames off to really get those shiny again but this is only going to look better with age. Um, Gentle Giant, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you, you make me fall in love with this stuff every time I, I review it. It's a real privilege, and uh, I thank you. Definitely want to check this out and get this for somebody in the upcoming holiday season. This is Bob from Total Recon.